Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending February 4th. And we know it's February because, look behind me, no Christmas decorations. Yes, some of you have noticed that we keep our Christmas decorations out all through January. That's just, uh, that's the way my wife does it, so uh, I deal with it. don't like doing my own laundry, so I don't, uh, I don't question it. This will be a little bit shorter than normal TDD report because being Super Bowl Sunday right now, it's about six hours away from the game, and thank you for five people that want to go head-to-head in the guess against me at the end of the show. I will give you their uh, point spreads and who's going against me. Let's see how they do. Best of luck to everybody. I'm just going to do two short stories this week. First one was sent in by Mean Machine. This is a concept bike. They showed it at an Australia motorcycle show. It's a concept bike that is powered by air, and I love the all-mechanical gadgets. I remember last week we were talking about the all-mechanical record player. And I'll also put a link down below. Um, by the way, about that, I'll put a link down below. The first link on this article will be I found a guy that actually has a functioning old record player, and evidently, unless you get a real, real super bumpy road, they do not skip because of the way they're... Um, designed and so I will the first link down here will be a link to his YouTube video along with a link right after that of the advertisement that they had for the RCA um, car player for uh, records but back to the concept bike and the link to that will be down below obviously too this is from transmoto.com.au it's based on the design of a somewhat uh, like a 250 motocross bike or something like that. They say the gearing was supplied by Yamaha and then there was an air engine that was produced by, I think it's called Engine Air in Australia. But this is a cool bike and I'm thinking too, just being that it's all mechanical, if need be, and you were out in a remote area, if you had some kind of a wind-powered uh, windmill, you could gear down a compressor and power it just with mechanical energy. And so what if it's, you know, took you eight, ten hours to fill up the bike overnight, you just hook the thing up let the windmill run, fill it up with the tank, and especially if you could carry along a spare or something like that, you know, if you had a maybe a 25 mile range on the tank or something like that, take one with you, you could cover about 50 miles and uh, no, not being dependent on gas or anything like that, just all mechanical ener- energy. So evidently this is the first prototype and they're going to work on a second prototype that's a little bit more lightweight. This is steel tubed and they're going to work on a a lighter weight aluminum version of it but check this article out I think it's really really good and thank you uh, Main Machine for sending it in this next article was sent to me by Gearhead3 this is a a group called The Geek Group and you just go to YouTube it's just YouTube and then four slash The Geek Group and I'll also put a link down below the latest project which is their latest video is called Stomper Build and Initial Testing um, or no, it's project. The, the latest one is called Project Stomper Mark, Mark IV Success. What it is is it's a pulse generator. You uh, dump a bunch of electricity into a capacitor, and then you dump it really quickly. You get a fast discharge capacitor, and you can dump enough electricity to where you could uh, actually, if you build the coil right, you can crush uh, soda cans and stuff like that. Well, they took it about 10 steps higher. They've produced enough energy in this to where they can actually crush down a quarter to the size of a dime, and it still looks perfectly like a quarter. That's a surprising thing, too. They were able to do it with such a, um even pulse that they didn't deform or bend the quarter or anything like that. That's quite amazing to see when they actually crush the quarter down like that. So if you get a chance, check out The Geek Group. It's a it's probably a, what I would really like to see Mythbusters become because it's not so polished and professional. It's basically just guys sitting up their camera. It's uh, three or four geek guys, however many get together and just decide to do a project. And then if they can, ramp it up to the max just like the Mythbusters do. But I always like it when the amateurs take it on because I think it, it looks a little, to me, it looks a little bit more genuine when it's not quite so polished or anything. Okay, here are the calls on today's game. On the Giants side, there are three of us. First, Cash Store 1 picks the Giants with a spread of 10 points. Smyrna Cowboy picks a spread of 4 points, going 1 over me, and then me at Giants by 3 points. Then on the Pats side, we have Kiwi Biker 4. Now he says less than, Kiwi Biker 
says less than five, so I picked that he's picking four. If you make it kind of ambiguous, I get to pick for you. So Kiwi Biker says Pat's by four. Jesus Freak says Pat's by ten. And Navy Thomas is going way out there. He's saying Pat's by 20. So I don't know how likely that's going to be, but those are the calls. So best of luck to everybody. If you uh, pick a subject, if you're the winner and you beat me and you pick the subject, if I know a lot about it, I'll do a report on it next week. If I don't know so much about it, give me an extra week to research it, and then I will uh, read the article and give my opinion on it. So take care, everybody. Best of luck to all. I will catch you next week.